I can only speak for what this movement has done for me and personally on my sash says listen to women of color. I think that that's what's changed for me as a woman is that this movement woke me up to how other women felt when they were abused by the political system because for the first time in my life when Trump was so called elected I felt abused by my political system. I felt used, I felt like it didn't represent me, I felt like my voice wasn't heard, I felt like I didn't have a voice. And that's what this movement has done for me. Uh, to support the women in my life. You know, I, I uh, see the struggles that they have, and I think it's important for men to support them. So I'm here to support these women. <laughs> Women are not a monolith. We do not all think the same. We do not all hold the same positions. We do not do not all hold the, hold the same viewpoints. And so, it's fine in a in a free market system to have a competition of ideas and a competition of rallies. And so that's I think that's that's the idea. Let people decide where they want to go to. We're just saying, hey, you're doing your thing. We want to do our thing. And and I think you know it's it's more than fine to be able to say that as a, if you're really truly a women's movement that you're going to be welcoming of all different perspectives. And I don't think that's happening necessarily across the street. Um, I think that all, all of us as women who have stood on the outside of somebody need to stand up for more. Um, today, a lot about how it's us versus them, or, or it's this party or that party. But I've got to be honest with you, I don't... here because Donald Trump should not be in our White House. It is our White House. He is a squatter and needs to be removed. All right.